perspective. Just like the Spice Girls, it splits opinion. Both points are your favourite. For some, reselling tickets, sometimes with a huge markup, abuses fans and artists. It's a rip off, it's not fair, especially um, just people can't afford it. I don't think they do need to crack down because it's for those that are successful in it, it's all right, isn't it? It's just those that aren't successful in it. So after hearing both sides, these MPs don't want touting outlawed. Instead, they're asking websites to tighten up who sells what online. You've probably heard of eBay, but there are other sites completely devoted to reselling tickets, like Seatwave here or via GoGo. Just log on, pick your event, and away you go. Well, I think the government is absolutely right that, as they put it, a ban on the resale of tickets would do no good for consumers, would actually harm consumers, and would be very impractical and unenforceable. For starters, the committee wants sites to ban tickets for charity or free events. But for some, this report won't go far enough to protect online customers. Richard Westcott, BBC News. And astronomers in the United States say hundreds of rogue blocks